lines above the middle of the page. And the line starts from Einam Asigin Bechinas Hamus. Einam. We already went a, uh, a line further, but uh, we will just step back. <clears throat> Pointing out that all anything that is nitros bemitzius that has a presence that can be expressed in seichel, for example, is already is by definition a inner from haor and not a mahus. We tried throughout this whole discussion to try to pin down the principle of Ha'ora with additional personal thought the, the Nakuda upon which we contemplate is the effect of something rather the essential in itself step back in this whole concept of Mahus and and um, and uh, Mitzius, Kitzenius and Pnimius, Etzem and Hispastus. Hashem creates the whole world. <coughs> so we would think that what is our relationship to Hashem and what is the significance of us knowing Hashem, it is knowing our Creator. Knowing Him from the perspective that He's a Creator. In other words, if with this with this attitude with them and, and, and this focus, we are focusing not on Him but on His effect and what He is giving to us. That is already a Haora. That is not the real thing. We're constantly pointing to the words of the Rambam. Where he says that the foundations of all the foundation of all foundation is to know that there is a first being. First being is nothing to do with being a creator. We discussed this several times over the months. What is the Rambam to say there is a first being? There's a creator. And everything comes from his truth. Without recognizing the union from first being, we're not relating to the real to the real thing. And uh, yes, indeed, it's a, it is very, very challenging. How can, a, how can one divorce himself from his own presence and be and totally disregarded, disregard, so to speak? Where he comes to know the, the, the benefit of, of this knowledge, totally uh, um, uh, disinterested, interested in the truth of itself, of it itself. And we're constantly pointing out, and this moment will be also one of those constants, that this knowledge that there's a first being is not something that we discover by some kind of, a, of an experience. This is a knowledge that the Neshama brings to us. This is, this is the, 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 the reality of knowledge, and Seichel is all drawn up from this. If Seichel is to explain to us the reality of the world, where, is it, where does the world get reality? From the presence of the Creator. As we discussed in illustrating this, this, this Gneva, Loi Signoi, we explained that the real Indian for Loi Signoi is based on a truth where Gneva is altogether not possible.
this is when you we go to the union of Hasogat Hamahus, to recognizing a the, the, the a godly truth. Anything that has that that, that is translated in terms of its effect is already hard. Particularly if it has to do with Gashmius, clearly it's a hard. Last thing that the Rebbe points out, this is where the line that we are sort of starting, that even the Shomis here below do not, do not, are not massing the Nihamus, because here below they mislap, they mislap just in Gashmius. And, and therefore there is, it's basically, it's basically um, a, a hard. just said the point right now is that even the shamas down here below they do not have a sense of him himself right but, but it seemed like a moment ago it was said even ha- as challenging as it is to divorce yourself from one's own perspective as if it's possible as if there is a con- there is perception of yeah, but that's that's a perception. That's not a hasogo. Ah. It's not understanding in seichel. Oh, perception here, a sense of. Yeah, well, that's that's what the neshama stands for. That's that's a reality. Uh huh. If we should we should use, so to speak, an analogy, you see the king. Do you know the king? Nothing at all, no zero. To put things in, 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 in simple terms, anything that the question, how does that work, is applicable, is not a mahus. If we, like I point out all the time, we know of the neighbors, we know of God. If we, are, if our knowledge and our perception and concept of God is such that allows for the question, what's that? Where does he come from? What's his function? We're not talking about God. Mm. So the last thing, so um, where we are starting actually, I said in the line begins a num, but at the end of that line he says, "Rak nevua higili hamahus." Except to the, the exception to that is nevua. There it is gili hamahus. But the novi, but the novi tells you is not how things are working out and like in consequence the Rabbi tell, the, tells you the way things are in reality the Milo that there is Gileham house Mepnei Shehu Bebkhinez is Pashas Agashmus said that we hear the word is Pashas is kind of used in the implication of, of the word of Shotas A novi, when the novi perceives, is not through his gashmis dike kelim, not through his gashmis dike means. It is his pashos gashmis, removing of the gashmis. Be 
Yesh Loima, okay, so we're going further. Yesh Loima, it's also conceivable, the Rebbe says. The Gamba Hasoga Baliyas Hanushomo. That also, the Hasoga that that is realized by Aliyas Hanushomo, and the Nushomo rises up to different, to higher, to higher chambers, higher worlds. We know the stories of the about Shem and the Midim Hashem had Aliyas and Shoma. And they, over there, they were able to perceive that which only the Neshoma can perceive, without the Guru. There too, Yochel Li is Gile Hamahus. Now there, it's conceivable, it could be that it will be Gile Hamahus. The Gile Hamahus itself, the Pnei Shem Mufshot Im Oz Min Hageshem. Because at that moment they are completely mufshot and removed and this 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 dissociated from the Gesha. And therefore this is this is um, is in the category of Gili Hamahus. Yesh Leimar. Further, it can further be said the Zeh Sheho Arizal. The Zehu, the Zehu. This is also pointing to to the to the uh, revelation that we were told Sheho Arizal that Masherob Pashas Bolo could be low. That the Arizal related. That when he had Aliyah Sashom and he saw Sayyid Satoira in Pasha Borok Bolokobila, and that which he saw in Pasha Bolokobila, Hoya Beza Shino Dafka. This was at the time of Shino, when he was asleep, not in wake. Because in Hashino Betzadikim, who Aliyah Nishmosum Lamai. Because it's, it's sleeping by Tzadikim, this is the Aliyah's Neshama. And therefore he saw then what the Neshama uh, sees without the process and the, and the filter of the goof. Avol ha-hasogo lemato. I'll come back to the Indian Hispatios Agashmis in a moment. Avol ha-hasogo lemato. But the hasogo, the comprehension, the way it is here below, in the Shomis and Gufu, and Gufu, who bimkhinas idiyas hamitsiyas levad, it is only in the category of idiyas hamitsiyas, of knowing the mitsiyas, not the mehus. The Mitzvah means the presence, okay. Mehus means the rea- reality itself. Gam in the Even in the Shomis, as the Shomis are here below, the Hasogo is only in Dias and Mitzvah. Okay. Sogo here is is in the Shomis and the Bosha in the Slavish in the Goof. The principle of, of knowledge at the level of the Goof, no matter how refined that knowledge is. There are two steps in, in knowledge. First, there is the 
the perception, and then there is identification, what is it that I'm perceiving? Like for example, like we give all the simple example, you stumble upon a table. So first you stumble on a table, so you know there is something there. Then you examine what is and why is it there? And all other ramifications. In Gashmi use, you don't have that essential truth as to why, what is it and why is it there. There's no chokhmah, it's just... It's a, right, it, it is beslapsious in Gashmi. It translates the truth of chokhmah in a Gashmi Zikayli. And the way of get, of knowing it, how do we reach to it? In these two steps. First, there is there is um, just the knowledge of something um, something existing by its effect, and then we examine what it is. Like we, we, we use the muscle Lois signal. It's, it's odd that Lois signal is a muscle, but in fact, for the that we're learning here, it's like a muscle. First, in the name of Lois signal, defining Lois signal means there are two people who own their own property individually. This is this is this is the mitzvah. This is what facilitates gnaim. And then comes in for loisig. This is a higher oil. No, but you must not. You must not do, do it. You're violating something true, to a higher level. That therefore you must not do it. So how do you get to know this Lysignif in this, in this fashion? You get first to know the Mitzvahs. And then, uh, how are you supposed to treat it? The higher, the higher concept. How do we uh, identify the ownership of two people? We identify them as two, as two independent ownerships. We don't initially identify them as something which is, which is of, of, of a higher level, but Gneva is not possible. On the contrary, we identify them as, as two individual owners. And at, at first glance, their ownership is due to their own claim. In other words, because they protect their, their property. This is why there is the whole thing. Go a little bit high. After that, we say no. This or this ownership is a real ownership, which is established by the godly presence. This is the real mahus of the, Indian, but we do not. We know the the mitzvahs of this mahus. We don't know the effect of it. We do not immediately perceive this 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 thing. And why is this? Because our whole hasoda is is. Through the through the conduit through the process of Gashmius, we cannot conceptualize anything that cannot be defined in some kind of a Gashmiusic platform. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that would seem to mean that this nitfas be Gashmius, that our whole perception is limited by physicality, that would that would seem to cut off real sechel. Um, what, what do we say? Right. It's not limited to to, uh, to physicality. Gashmius is not physicality necessarily. Mokim Uzman. Physicality means tangibility. Yeah. No, it's not limited to tangibility. Oh, but it's nistfas but Gashmius. It's limited to a sort of context. In the, con- in, in con- in the, the concept of Gashmius. Which includes time and space, which is time and space is the basics of, of Gashmias. 
in the Torah it says, Vayignev Yankev a slave loving her Arami. Yankev stole Lovin's heart. What does it mean he stole Lovin's heart? Oven thought, maintained that he is supposed to know everything that happens with him, with his children. There in his heart. Yankiv said, not necessarily. You'll find out when the time comes to find out. That also is called Gneva. And there too, it's neat with Begashmis, not Begashmis in a tangible element, but in the Begashmis like a perception. What happened over here? You can describe what happened. Okay, it still, it still seems like we're saying human safe is all about what happened, or all about Gashmis, whereas elsewhere we seem to bring the opposite, meaning human safe is all about some kind of nitsut, some kind of... No, no, when, the, when I say the word what happened, we don't mean what happened in the, in the process of happening. What happened means in the significance of happening. Uh-huh. What does that touch? What does it represent? Not the sequence of happening. Still the sequence of happening is, is literally a gosh music process. So this is to say as if Chochmah too is lit us in kind of time and space. The whole human cycle is, <coughs> is in this setting, from Chochmah on down. Right. Yeah? Um, we point out the phenomenon of sight, and we learn the way the difference between chokhmah and and um, oinek, and we'll talk on, on the sight level. We always point out that sight uh, represents a, 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 a really a, a dilemma. There's no way to understand. To fully grasp what is tra- transpiring, because in sight you also see you you see a complete panorama. Everything in space, and yet you see it from perspective where it does not take up any time. Space and time are interrelated. If you can see. You know, a huge expense of space, it should take take a, a proportionate amount of time to see it. And yet, that's not what happens. Because you they're seeing space there, not from a as I said from a, a an accumulation of space, but from the essential element of space. And then and therefore it bypass the union of time. This inner that you bypass the inner of time in seeing is, is not a seeing the mahus. You still see it with Gashwas, with your physical eyes. What then is it, how is it possible that we see it in an instant, an expense of, of miles and miles? So we explained that the fundamental oil, fundamental message of space, of sight, like we say in Chochmah, that what is Chochmah? How do we define Chochmah? Chochmah is not what you perceive. Chochmah is beyond that. It is the basis of that. That there is such a thing as truth. This perception that there is such a thing as truth is beyond time and space itself. But you're perceiving the time and space as it is rooted in higher than time and space. This is what Chochmah is. And this is what sight is. 
this is why it gives you the possibility of seeing, as I said, the whole expanse and everything that's contained therein in an instant. It is not by going through each each half a mile or every object. Because everything, this whole space and the objects, all have a basis for their existence at a higher level than, than space and time. Which is why Chochmah, when say Chochmah perceives a truth, Emes, which is essentially beyond time and space, but you're not perceiving time and space. You're perceiving that time and space has a root that's higher than time and space. That's that kind of uh, that being so. Yet it still leaves us kind of mitfas. That's right. Okay. But we can only perceive it. Mitfas begashmis doesn't mean it's t- tangible. You know, in, in, in physicality and all that. Mm. Uh-huh. <clears throat> all right. Rebbe says that the reason that the Ariza, when he perceived this phenomenal, phenomenal secrets in Pashim Bolukum Bilam, you, you know the, the story about his reason, woke up and he said that what he now saw in this hour, in Pashim Bolukum Bilam, it would take me 70 years to to expound. 7-0? 7-0. And when was he able to perceive? This means, Silas explains, that he actually saw the Mahus. Because to see 70 years worth of information on the Messias level cannot be squeezed into one hour. But he saw it in his sleep. So that explains why why the sleep? Because the sleep by tzaddikim means that they are in that moment mufshat and gashmis. In that moment, you see things which in the shomer sees without relating to gashmis. Is there, is there a good English word for gash, gashmis rather than phys, physicality? Is too thick, right? Gashmis is kind, some kind of um, the, in order not to violate any of the principles we have, we have a treated in here's a gashmis, you have to say a presence. Uh, uh, it's, it's stripped of any kind of presence, any kind of manifestation. <laughs> but then the hasoga, the way it is here below, he bimchinet sidis hamitzias levad gam bin shomis. What is gam bin shomis and even the shomis, whose basis for idea for knowledge is what we always mention that there is a first being. And from the truth of his being, everything emanates. And this in the Shomis, this knowledge in the Shomis have inherently, this is what the Shomis is. The concept of presence of the Shomis is the godly presence. So even the Shomis, in the Hasoga, he will amount of the Gashmius. Is a sogas hamatzius, not a sogas hamatzius. Let's put this in perspective, so we'll have meaning to these words. The neshamas, as we always, 
The Ramam says, the Nishomis know things on the basis of the fact that there is a first being. Not on the basis of the fact that they see a world. They encounter things. In other words, they know that there is things from the perspective there is a first being, which is which is uh, higher than world, and, uh, and, uh, which is beyond Mitzvahs and, uh, and, and and place, and that is what allows things to be, and this is allowing the Shomis to to know things. Otherwise, it doesn't exist. So you would think that therefore they relate directly to the truth of the first being. So he says, because the Shom is lemato, anit was begashmius. And although the substantiation of what they know is not based on a gashmiusic encounter, proof, but on the truth of, of his first being, still their knowledge will remain, will remain um, a level of amnesty. Shmuel is having Aliyah Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> You're so right. It's so right. The call she can have so good as Malochim. Surely the Asog of Malochim, surely the Chinese Chitzenius Levad, that the Asog of Malochim is for sure in in the beginning of Chitzenius, the beginning of Chitzenius Hametzius, and the overall principle of Chitzenius Hametzius. Chitzenius means Metzius, its presence. The Shomes have a much deeper sense of reality than Malochim. Even though Malochim are constantly in Godliness, they constantly see Godliness, so Malochim, in the form of speech, and I hope it's not violating, Malochim will not have any uh, timeless, it's encounter of a Lakus. The Shomes know Lakus not by encounter. So therefore, my malochim for sure, their knowledge is more superficial and data than the shamans. And therefore, sure, their hasoga is in these amateurs. Ukmeisha kosu, and as the Posik says, the simple chat in this posuk is Loyerani Ho Odom Bachoi. Moshe Abin wanted to see Hashem. Hashem said, Lisucha Liri is his pona, you will not be able to see. Kiloyerani Ho Odom Bachoi, because it's not possible for Odom to see me, Bachoi, and remain alive. That's a simple shot in the book. So the Imana says, there is a, a there is a, a broader a broader perspective and a meaning in this in these words. The Rani Hodom. Odom cannot see Bokhoi. And even the Chai can also not see. What is the Chai? I feel a Chai is a Chai is a is also Loyanani. Even though Chai Zakedish are constantly in the presence of godliness, they're looking from the, from the neighbors all the time. But this is all the is not the essence. The high noon that is, the fish and shoy his avusom, because the very basis, the very root of their coming into being, Urak mihichut chitsoini, the avo. This is only from a Yehud, from a Yehud Avo, a Yehud Chitsoyni Avo. Shezeo Bechines Haor Alabad. They hold the basis of their existence is a Haor. 
of the of the Gazi truth. Al Kane and thus call Mitsu Sombahasogosom the entire presence and their comprehension who beginas ha or in is Lava. Is only Haora Chitzenis. Again, the word Haora by definition means Chitzenis. Haora means the effect of something, not the essence. Hey. Similarly, this is climbing up the ladder. Shevez ha hamshoch or hazois. The root of this hamshoch, namely the hamshoch that comes in the Yichud Chitzeni of Avom. What is this Hamshoch represent? Kmei shehila ma'ila mechoch vino. This Hamshoch will accuse as it is above Choch Mobino. We'll hopefully discuss this. Mokio dua. And as is known, the Yichud Chitzoni de Avo, that the Yichud Chitzoni de Avo, the Chochmo Bino, and the interaction between Chochmo Bino, who Gaim came meyoyin and soif bore. That Yichud is also rooted in Ein Soif. Attend to this, uh, you know, with a limited, with a limited um, involvement. The principle of Yichud. Then we have Yichud Avo, and Yichud Chitzeni de Avo Yichud Nimi. Avo is Av Avu Be'em. Avo is Chochma and Bin. Yichud Chochma and Bin. Go back. So we have identified in Loi Signoid two distinct principles. With this identity in a signal, the principle of of how it is, how it is a beginning, how it is on a functional level. Where the possible and maybe is, po- is possible. And we explain how that is a violation of the truth. We explained that in Geneva, contrary to our superficial perception that we are violating this particular individual, the violation in Geneva is violation of the truth of the Godly Presence. You think it, he owns it, and therefore you're violating him. But the fact that he owns it is not 
a world exclusively a worldly presence, it's a godly presence, a godly truth. Therefore, the violation there is, is a violation of the godliness itself. And this is the godliness as it is perceived on the worldly arena. In Chochma per se, this is already how this thing is, is defined in, in defined in a, in a tangible manner, in the presence of manner. In Chochma, where the Eden of Alukus is the only truth. So there, this Indian is perceived at a much higher level, on an essential level. Not identifying the 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 godly presence by this by by the ownership that each one has, but by the, the, the source of it. The reason that the ownership that each one has is a godly union is because the whole the whole thing the, the whole source is is as a godly union. Mm-hmm. Now, here we have two distinct levels, the way it is perceived in Chochmah and the way it is in, in, in Bina. In Bina it is at the level of Metzius, individual entities. In Chochmah there is a perfect unity. And then there is the union between the Chochmah and the, and the Bina. This union creates a novel presence, where even at the level where, where they're separate entities, there is really an, an, a, an element that unites them and gives them highest as separate entities. This is the the effect of this union. Showing this is explaining. Mm-hmm. This is explaining the principle of Yehud Chitzoni Dabo. What what the Rabbi is saying here, we come and we'll go back into the words here. What affects, what brings about this Yichud Chitzini De'Avo? Who is with me here? What, what brings it about? I'm with you. <laughs> I'm waiting for the answer. Does it bother you? What, what brings it about? Does it bother me? Uh, it bothers me that I don't know what brings it about, yeah. 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 <laughs> how, how can two things, such vast differences, such as Chochmah and Bina, unite. Hmm. So we could say, the way this is the way we perceive it in, in our world, like everything else, There is a shortcoming in Chochmah and a shortcoming in Bina. 
Chokhmah by itself does not give us a world. Bina by itself does not give us a meaningful world. Therefore, we bring them together. That union is, is not a union of Chitzayni. It's a meaningless union. It's, it's, a, it's a union that is, that is, um, th- that is source in shortcoming. The whole time you're pointing out that when you talk about the Lakus, in truth, the, 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 the force behind any activity is its positive element, not its negative element. If it's negative element, there's, there's no significance to it. It's not a real union. Like we say, a person does a mitzvah because he's afraid to, has shown to be punished. Yes, he did the mitzvah. And, and uh, in our world, the fact that he knows that then he believes that he can be punished, that always is a matreya. But, never, but nevertheless, he's, he's, there's lacking a lack of a real connection. He's holding into himself. So if we have the union of Chochmo Bina, for, for the benefits of each, it's not a real union. Rebbe says, Ki odua de yichud chitzoyne de avo hu gan kim eir nisoy po. That the real yichud chitzoyne de avo is actually the effect of eir nisoy. It is not due to the shortcomings as I said that the Chochmo is missing something, Bina is missing something. It is actually a revelation of eir nisoy. This is what permits the whole unit. This will effectuate the whole unit. Oil and soil, this is, this is beyond Chochmah. Yes, sir. It's like the presence of the king nullifying the ministers. It, it, it unites them in their, their bitl to it. Right. Yeah, but you're talking about Yichud. Yichud means not nullification. On the country, the effect of their interaction. The effect of their interaction. But, you, but didn't you just say that there was, there was the orange stuff that enabled their interaction? And that's what we're trying to understand. That's right. And in other words, in this union, Chochmobina is manifest an element of Eir Yisrael. But what causes the union? What initiates it? Do we initiate it from below in order to have the light? Or does the fact that there is the light shining on us enable us to unite them? Yeah, but what is the result of that union? Das. The result of that union is a gilu voidisai. This is the point. That even though it's a union, yuchut chitzeni de'avo, but even yuchut chitzeni de'avo, chitzeni means yes, that there are benefits in either direction. But the real union in yuchut chitzeni de'avo is also meyeri soipor. Effectively, it is, it is effectuated by the union so it, and it is, and it is the message of it, and it revealing the union from the union so it, which is beyond the chokhmah. We we start we start out saying it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be due to the lacking of either 
and we went. And that we is went not. Out. That is not the spirit. Right. right. And then we, we went outside of the two of them to say uh-huh. something. Okay. Beyond. So let's look inside. We wouldn't lose ourselves. Vechein. Likewise, we say we say that that even his havas and malochim is also um, a yud chitzayi, and therefore it's only haor. Mm-hmm. Likewise, shoyrez ham shocho hazois. The root of this hamshoch. As this hamshoch is above chokhmobi. What hamshoch? The hamshoch that effectuates this union. Okay, or dua, the yichud chitzoni de avo, that the yichud chitzoni de avo, who gan ki meir in soibo. Even though the chitzoni is. Avo, Chochma, and Bin are two very different uh, levels, different, different qualities. The union between them is the is the effect of the Oyer Yisrael. <coughs> so in order to get the whole message that we are going to be discussing, Harei Zeh Gamki, but then, there too, you have to understand that even though this union is made in Soibaruhu, but that too is Rag Haor Chitzeni Slevat. It's only Haor Chitzeni Slevat. This is a phenomenal thing. Here we have something which is above Chachmobi. We are near from the Eirin Soibaruhu. But within even at that level, way above Chachmobin, it is also only Ha'orach Etzenis. Ha'orach Etzenis means the effect of, 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 of essentially, of Eirin Seif, not the actual presence of Eirin Seif. And that is, this is where this union is worth. And this is why, no matter what, what results from this union, like Malochim, it's all Chitzenis. It's all Ha'orach. You mean you don't want the mahus? You're satisfied with the mahaora? That's some mahaora. That's <laughs> some mahaora. <laughs> We're trying to understand the mahaora of that. As we are going through this, I'm going to say above Chachmobin and so forth. I hope that we get a, a little bit more of an inkling what is what is Chitzenius, and then eventually we come to Pneumics. What is Ha'or and what is Amahus? Excuse me? The Nishamas also heard from here? The Nishamas, he belongs. The Nishamas will mind with something else. seeing constantly our includes anything that can be viewed from the perspective of what it facilitates is our let's come back a little bit to earth Human being needs a home. 
And we can explain his need for a home in all kinds of different ways. At various levels. All on the, on the principle, a human being requires many things. He requires a table, a chair, a bed, shoes, a hat. He has enough place to put all this. This part of the obvious home. Even, even his treasure house, where he stashed away his most treasured possessions. A king needs, has a, 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 a certain a, a, a hidden treasure house where his crown is, is, is stashed away. The crown is the most precious jewel, which makes the crown into a crown. You know, we know the, 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 the principles behind that. This is what makes the melech into a melech. It still is a facilitator only. So we, we have discussed many times, what the Gemara says, all the machine they buy is in the order. However, each one will, will perceive the principle in this. We are talking about a house not as a facilitator. The Gemara does not say all the machine they buy is in the doesn't function like a human being, doesn't feel like a human being. Doesn't say that. Because ain't no yodo. It's a synonymous statement. He's an odom, he has a house. It's a synonym. It's not on a function level at all. This means that this, is, this represents the mahus of the person, the mahus element. Mother can say is a kehaor. Since we are talking about Adam, here we are in the world, so even the mahus is also a kehaor, it's is also defined on a functional level. But we are saying that the essence of this is not for the functional purpose, but for the for the truth itself. And I'm going to go into this for a moment, as we always point out, that the reason that the name is of such profound significance in a person, even though a name is Mamusha Kitsenisik. It is that in terms of the truth of the person, of the godly truth of his presence in the world, in the name is that that is where it's expressed. Not in what he is, but in his presence in the world, in his in his shlichas in the world. This is where the truth of the person is expressed. This is what Odom Shein Le Bayes in Odom is. It's not all, not that he's on function, it's not a functional thing, <laughs> even though a house is a functional thing. But there is an essential element that is, that is defined by this function. And the reason there is an essential element, I'm, I'm taking it completely because otherwise we will we won't understand. The reason there is that essential element is because that is a godly creation. If you look in the Chomish, in the Chomish it says, Socher in Keva Boro Eso, 
ויקרא אשמום אודום ביהי מהיברון. גיב מנהם עני. השם גיב מנהם אודום. And if he is not an אודום, אודום שאין הבעיה שאין היא אודום, he is lacking this essential thing. They have this reality clearly because that is what the Rebbe should create. And the Rebbe should give them a, an essential presence. So, coming back. Anything that can be defined in terms of um, function, of a serviceability, a facilitator, is already a Chidovah Where does the whole principle of, a, of, a, of an essence come from? It's not part of the world. The reason that Odo is really a, a, a real mitzvah is because Hashem said, It's way beyond, beyond the creation. This is what gives him the real presence. Not all his phenomenal capabilities and talents. Is it a godly declaration that he is Odom? And this is what makes him real. Thus, we say, for example, that a human being can do a mitzvah. It's for the whole thing. They can do a mitzvah from the neighbors. What, what is behind the thing that he can do a mitzvah from the neighbors? His seichel, his midas, his hands, his feet, his mouth, his nose. What is it? It is sourced in oil in Seif. It is by Yikro Shmuel because that is what Hashem declared him to be. This is why he has this, this, this stuff. This is what the Rabbi is saying. That Yichud Chitsoyni De'Avo we could say there is a there is a huge functional richness in this. You could say it that way, but that is not what facilitates it. That is not its truth. Where does it where does it come from? It comes from oil in safe. because. This, which I'm going to say now, I'm just going to say it without elaboration too long because we'll never finish. Because both Chochma and Bina are actually contained within the alien side and rooted in the alien side. This is why there is a yichud between them. Where Chochma is not Chochma, Bina is not Bina, Bina is actually an, an alien surf element. Or part of it or so. So, so the Rebbe say that even though that the Tzichut Chitzini De'Avo is rooted, is actually in Eirin Seif, and it is a, and it is a, a manifestation of Eirin Seif, even there it is only Yichut Chitzini. It's only Ohara. In other words, it's a ha'or of a yisif. It's not the most. <coughs> I think I'm going to let you sleep on this.
if you can. Uh, Rabbi, what you said sounds self-contradictory. On the one hand, you say that a, a man, an Adam, without a ha, without a home, is not a man. On the other hand, you say that Adam, that, that the, his uh, his his humanity, uh, Adam, comes because God calls him an Adam. Okay. So if a man has no home, uh, he's he's he's. He's still, God is still calling him Adam. Whether, whether he, has a, he has a home or not, but he is always presence, an Adam. His presence as Adam does not, Adam does not exist in the world. His presence as Adam does not exist. Why? Because he's lacking this, this the, the principle so, of so, so the, but, Okay, so then the home, the, home, the bias is the chitzonius. He ha, is a chitzonius dike zach. But that is what... A test of the fact that he is an Odom. Okay, and it tests to his... No, no, it makes him an Odom in the world. Odom is even by saying the Odom, that's what your mother says. So, a man, okay, so you're saying that in order for him to be truly an Odom, he has to have an effect on the world. This is the India of mitzvahs being a bias. Okay, uh, there are many, many ways of... Oh, yes. boy, okay, 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 okay. All right, have a great day, everyone.